We are about to bear witness to the Queen. Listen, here is a truly generational talent. There's no doubt about that. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. The personification of majestic elegance, a fearless defender of her crown. She says everyone will yeah. bow down to her. There's no question Charlotte is WWE royalty, but Charlotte often yeah. lacks compassion for those around her. Well, that comes with the territory when you've been superior yeah. most of your life. Flair says she's proud to be a queen and she should be celebrated. Well, Flair will also embarrass and humiliate those who choose not to fall in line. Charlotte Flair proudly pulls the strings as the puppet master of the women's division and will gladly accept anyone who will bow down. She created her own divine right as the queen and intends to cause great pain and suffering to her opposition. You just can't game plan for this type of brilliance. Here we go, guys. We're going to finally have a champion after this one. And you have to imagine these superstars are feeling the pressure here. You don't come into a match of this magnitude without feeling it at least a little bit. Facing perhaps the greatest competitor in women's division history, beating Charlotte will make you a legend. That's a true statement, but it's only true because of how difficult, borderline impossible it is to achieve this task. With this championship title in play, you can expect this match to be something special. And you have to respect the work this superstar has been putting in in order to meet the kind of challenge she faces tonight. Without a doubt, we've seen the hard work paying off. You don't find yourself in a match like this without dedicating your time into your craft. All that time spent makes her in a good position to pull off a victory here. And then you have Charlotte, a talent with natural flair, no pun intended, for making in-ring domination and devastation actually look kind of just... Here's the pin, title on the line. Charlotte's still in this. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Right to the kidneys from behind. Protect that leg from further harm. You can't finish a match on one good leg alone. Corey, you have any insight on Charlotte Flair's mindset in this one? Charlotte wants more than a win. She wants to assert her dominance. People pretend they don't know just how superior Charlotte Flair is. So sometimes she needs to remind them. Better pay for her mistake. Forearm smash. Letting her opponent know she is ready for anything. She's beginning to flag a little. And it's 
Let's reverse pay for that mistake. Uh oh. About to hit rock bottom. Got the underhook. Bang! Backbreaker. Charlotte just rubbing it in now. Executed. The Queen setting up on the knee, right to the face. Oh, knee drop. Woo. Set up in the corner of the ring. The Queen teeing off. Making the climb all the way to the top. Charlotte Flair moonsault. Wow, the first one didn't, but the second one landed. Incredible. Incredible. Charlotte's the new champion. Here is your winner. And new WWE Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. Truly win for this superstar or should I say for the new champion honestly Michael there is no way I can think to describe this other than absolute goosebumps then imagine how the new champ must feel Byron The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Tag Team Championship. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Solo Sokoa at a combined weight of 493 pounds, Jay Uso and Jimmy Uso. So much on the line here tonight, guys, as we look to crown a new champion. That's right, Cole. We're guaranteed to have a new champion at the end of this one. It's not very often you can say that. And Byron, to say that these superstars don't like each other would be a bit of an understatement, am I right? I don't think you've ever been more right, Michael. To put it bluntly, these guys absolutely loathe each other. And their opponents at a combined weight of 350 pounds. Here we go, guys. We're finally going to crown a new champion here tonight. Cole, this match right here is the absolute definition of history-making. Whoever wins this will forever have their name in WWE history books. And that's really saying something. And I'll tell you, he's been itching to get his hands on him here tonight. Of course he has, Michael. These guys despise each other. They want nothing more in life than to tear each other limb from limb. The goal is obtaining those tag team championships. Being on the same page will be vital in this one. And here we go, tag team action in store. There's a science to being a successful tag team, and Cole, I would know all about that. Hey, what about me? Corey excluded you for good reason, Byron. Now back to the action. Out, draped over the top rope. 
He's got something coming. Sent flying and into a rough landing. Oh my goodness, nasty luck. And shoulders are down. He clearly has no intention of staying down.
so. And it may just take going to the well one more time with that maneuver to gain the pinfall. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. for Jay at this point. Yeah, Jay might need to find space to regroup. I see a cut on Jay after that. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. Textbook side rush and leg sweep. And heavy hands to follow. So much damage inflicted. To the skies. Oh, Look at Jay. His lights are off. 
The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Was mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stop to the gut too. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. The monster of all monsters has arrived. The following contest is a triple threat match. That is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Making his way to the ring from Shearer's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds. Braun Strowman! Terrifying power with unmatched brutality. And ever since his return, Strowman has been on a path of destruction. Uh, 
And here's the man, The Miz, who is one of the most accomplished stars in the history of WWE. Just one of the many reasons why he is the A-lister. And from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! Think for a moment about all the great adversity Miz has had to overcome in his career. He has been stalked by maniacs. He's had his manhood questioned, and he is constantly put in harm's way. Uh, well, I have no sympathy for The Miz. It's about time he gets humbled. Shouldn't be humbled, he should be celebrated as a man, as a competitor, and beloved by all. considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. A clash for the title here in this, this three-way dance, and it's going to be Braun Strowman, Rey Mysterio, and The Miz. Oh, man, check out this power. something in the corner. He gets out of the way. Hooked up. DDT. Boom! Yeah. 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 smack. Yeah. What a shot. Yeah. Solely focused on... Ooh. Being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on. He's taking a moment to feel the crowd, but he's going to focus on the opposition. And some say the only limit in no DQ is your own imagination. Right, so Saxton wouldn't stand a chance. For everyone else, though, the sky is the limit. Anything you wish you could do to get a win, you could probably arrange it here. So my advice is to hold nothing back. some. Somersault reverse DDT! Oh, hold on. Is he thinking of a submission here? Wow, the power that takes is insane. After everything, he gets there. A few seconds longer in this match would have been over. The crowd is fired up. Ray is fired up. I'm fired up. Calm down, Saxton. And he's going with the great equalizer. From behind, German suplex. <laughs> Roman glaring at his soon-to-be victim. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. And gets tossed back into the mat. Kicked by the Miz. of a daredevil, the ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, 
absolute reckless abandon. Bang! He's struggling a bit here. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. This one is headed outside, guys. Oh, it gets put into the barricade. Oh, come on now. The Miz is being reprehensible. Holy meet the barricade. Oh, man. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Scores the reversal on Miz. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Oh, the monster among men. Look at the power! Oh, and attack for the championship. Kicks out after one. Oh, the punishment he's taken, and yet he's still in this match. Miz got really caught by what would be a crucial bit of offense there. After lasting this long in a triple threat, it'd be a shame to take a nosedive now. Oh, right in there. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Miz doing what he does best, worming his way into the head of his opponent. Oh, a kick! Nasty kick. Drop kick to me. Now a pin for the championship. He leaves the ring and there's no countouts in this one. Lock. Watch this athleticism and agility. Walking oh, yeah. the ropes. Looking for more damage here. Oh, at least back suplex. A oh, foot just stomping down. Not sure how much more Strowman can take. Not what you want to see by any means. His opponent up. Face plant. Pin attack for the championship. No, the Miz is still alive. How? How? Strode out. Cutting off the offense with a nasty chop block. Ooh. This is it. This is gonna be it. Skull crushing finale. Can the Miz close the game? He stops the count. But why? There are nasty intentions that still need to be delivered. And Miz gets stopped in his tracks. Boom! Running FTO plants. Nicely done. We continue to see incredible perseverance from these competitors. The war continues to rage on with no superstar willing to give an inch. A oh, jumping stop to the gut. Ryan McKissar. Mysterio defending that off. Kick right to the back of the leg. Strowman has any intentions of letting this match drag on much longer. 
Mysterio, what's he gonna do? victory coming out on top against two very capable very prepared competitors a win like this sends a message send two superstars send three send four heck send a whole army it's only going to be an uphill battle for the competition of WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth. He's held the Intercontinental, the U.S., the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the phenomenal one. A man who exceeded all expectations in WWE and is now a first ballot Hall of Famer. And his opponent, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ. AJ Styles is an athlete who many would argue possesses the best all-around skill set in WWE. Styles has an unmatched drive to win. Undeterred passion, fire, and desire. And we're going to see it on display tonight, courtesy of the Phenomenal One. You know, being known as Phenomenal, that's just the beginning. Well, anytime AJ Styles is in the ring, you have to almost assume that it's going to turn into an instant classic. Yeah, another one's imminent tonight. Undoubtedly, the top title in this company.
These two men consider the best of their generation. I've been looking so forward to AJ Styles versus Seth Rollins. Looking at Seth Rollins, there is no lack of confidence. Seth has been preparing to face AJ Styles, claiming that this is a statement match. Going for a pin for the championship. Stops the ref count before two. Fighting hard to stay in this match. into that corner. Pinpointing the leg. Punishing the leg. Pain must be shooting through that leg now. Hoist it up. Gut buster. Seth Rollins just sitting back and degrading his opponent. Hoist up their opponent. Looking for burning him. Single under him. Certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Oh, throw to the back. Rollins and Styles both took. Uh oh, cross body. Whoa, that is reckless abandon being shown and paying off as well. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. Nicely done, snap suplex so quick. Styles telling the audience now to watch him. Watch AJ get things phenomenally done. Whip back into the ring. Oh, nice deep arm drag. Here's a pin for the title. Just kicks out. And frustration might be starting to set in. are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. Hoist it up. Oh, right to the gut. Jumping knee right to the face. Oh, man. Connecting with a standing moonsault. Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. A drive to prove who really has the upper hand here. Competition can really bring out the best of people, and I think we will be seeing that from them here and beyond. Uh oh. Great wherewithal on the counter. Drop kick on target. Styles allowing the WWE Universe to revitalize his bulldog mentality. outside. This could be good. Hooked up. DDT. AJ Styles just adding salt to the wound now. And he tosses it back in now. Stepping things up a little bit there. Superstar starting to build. Here it comes. Right after starting blow after blow. Just who they're in the ring with. Oh my gosh! What a counter by Rollins. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. 
Single underhook. Face first. Driven down. And Zagiri finds its mark. From the middle row. We've seen this win matches for Rollins. Yes, we have a new champion. Here is your winner and new world heavyweight champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins. A night and title change we will all remember for a very long time. We really are looking at a new era, Cole. Soak it in. Opportunist is here. A man who has once again claimed his spot atop WWE. A Hall of Famer who has survived judgment and embraced his darker side to become even more dangerous than ever before. The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, Edge! You know, Edge has won and cashed in the very first Money in the Bank contract, and he's found so many unique ways to win. He is truly the ultimate opportunist. Here comes Finn Balor. A man who has truly embraced his darkness and has seen success as a result. And his opponent representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn. Well, Finn Balor is a true, fierce competitor who will beat down anyone in his path. That's it. Balor has honed his skill set and turned his entire body into a weapon. On, let's hey, let's go. not forget, Balor is a very gifted technical wrestler. Yeah, Balor also has a very nasty attitude. Who are you to pass judgment on a member of the Judgment Day, Byron? Well, he attacks the body and the mind. The mark of a truly intelligent competitor. And oh, how he has developed a long, sadistic streak. I completely agree, Cole, and I completely enjoy it.
Think about what superstars endure in a match like this. Winning a match is always important, but this match is about survival. The punishment sustained in a cage match is shorten superstars' careers. That's why it's a fight or flight situation. Win or lose, this is a match where the end result can be absolutely disastrous. Watch the quickness on this. Bang! Snap suplex. Corey, we know the steel cage offers a big advantage for anyone willing to use it as a weapon. But is there a disadvantage to the structure, too? Well, Cole, I can tell you one thing that'll be hindered by the cage, and that's any sort of speed advantage. Any and all attempts to pick up the pace are going to be confined to the ring. Lighten up the chest, and now straight to the knee. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from... Take down, looking for the cross face, it's cinched in, this could be over. What a unique submission maneuver here, and look at the pain his opponent's in. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. Down with a sling blade. And a basement drop kick. What now? Oh, not to the belly. And he goes for the pin. Gets the shoulder up after one. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Kick to the stomach. Here he goes, working his way up the side of the cage. Feels like it's opportune time to get out of here. Oh, faithful oh, steel. Getting ever so close to the very peak of the steel cage. Ah, oh, he takes a painful fall from the cage. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. Shifts it back onto him. This is still anybody's fight. That's a key shot. And the count. One, two. And he did it. Big win inside the cage. Here is your winner. Edge. A moment of sweet vindication for Edge. Putting Finn Balor in his place and proving that he is not someone you want to go making enemies with. Yeah, Balor may regret ever betraying Edge in the first place after suffering a loss like this at the hands of the rated R superstar. I wouldn't be so sure. I bet from Balor's perspective, this beef's far from over.